Hey guys, I'm Addicted here, and today we're going to build this awesome ultimate farm barn. How to build a barn, and so I'll put the dimensions on the screen now, so you can take. You can just pause the video and do that, but it's going to be fast and slow at the same time, so you're going to be able to build it. So we're going to build up by three, and I'm using the strip spruce logs with some spruce at the front. Two spruce up with some stairs and then go up by two more as well but you can kind of mix this around it doesn't have to be like this i decided to put some trap doors on with some stairs going across the top build it up by one more and then two more all together put some campfires at the front there um, and then i just put some fences underneath as little pillared supports put some stairs on again built it up i think it was about four high altogether and it should be a three by three square in there so you can just stick some fences in so that's what i decided to do as kind of like the front side pillars this is either side of the doorway of the barn so obviously the doorway is in the middle going to build it up by three more and then i started to use some of the dark brick is it the dark brick or smooth dark brick or something and i put two little kind of like roofs coming off from that as well so they should be at the same height as what we've brought up the front as you can see there and at the back it should look like that nice and plain just filled all in across here put some stairs and then built up a middle podium with the stripped spruce logs across the front just some stairs going down it, it doesn't have to be like this some campfires at the front you can change it around and stuff so i've got some upside down stairs as well brought some fences coming down i thought yeah stick some lanterns on bit of bush like that as you can see maybe in the middle a log going through yeah just a simple entrance going through like that and at the top put it all the way across with the log and then i decided right i want a big roof so i put it up by an extra two um the logs up like that so yeah with the uh, three gaps in the middle i think it's three gaps in between all them and then bring them all the way up to the top fill in the roof and the front and the back of the building the side buildings are all going to be the same they're all going to be symmetrical so you can just repeat it for the, the yeah front and back so yeah got some trap doors got some stairs mix them together with some trap doors for kind of like uh, little areas maybe some log to fit that roof on and some yeah some campfires over the front and at the top i just decided to fill it in with some of the stripped oak logs and then go across like that so it's kind of like that sort of pattern you can decide to put some logs coming down or you can uh, yeah put some spruce i decided to end up putting some spruce because i didn't like how much it was like that i kind of liked it a bit more basic so i went with that and it looked all right so some stairs some more campfires mixed around with different ideas that would work uh, but i ended up just going with something like a slab like this just going over the top slap the slab on top of each other with some fences going across and then maybe some little doorways at the top there so yeah something like that i thought would be all right so we've got like three levels to this barn so we can have a um yeah get to the top and fill it out like that but yeah at the very end i'll show you around the whole build so you can kind of take a good better look and uh yeah just a simple doorway some stairs going across there and uh yeah filled it all the way across um to the very end and then just repeat the process world edit the front to the back so it's exactly the same and just bring in those support beams just joining them together so bringing the roof across just black stone just uh, filled that all in same at the other side as well just straight up black stone filled it in and uh, yeah then i went on to the next area which is where the small roofs are there i brought a log just going across where the end of the small roof is and bring that small roof across because i wanted that to be the very start of our roofs coming down at the side of the barn so i just thought it was a perfect place to start it and it joins those smaller roofs as well so like that fill this all in now you don't have to get scared about oh how many blocks how many of this just put some windows there i think there's about three gaps in between each one and um, you can put some trap doors at the side of it just to make it look a bit more pretty or something like that fill it in with the white stained glass or something and then at the front just a bigger window um with maybe some campfires on the side maybe some dirt with some trap doors wrapped around it stick some flowers in there or something like that but you can have it more plain you can have different windows doesn't really matter i'm just showing you how i did it and uh, you can obviously expand it and make it into your own build and as you can see there i've just put those little windows in there now bringing this roof down i brought it down from where the small roof are but one back okay so then i put that and then i decided to do it a little side kind of like panel area with some trap doors and just some more logs and stairs and stuff with um, the white stained glass uh, so i decided that was 
yeah the idea i was going to go for messed around with loads of ideas but i wanted a flat roof to join onto the roof we've already got so obviously where i've laid out the foundations and all the pillars those pillars are coming up i think that goes up by four blocks and i dig into the ground so this barn's kind of got underground bits as well which kind of works really well so then i brought the log going across obviously three four high same height as the roof and just repeating the process on the other side so bringing that roof down all the way to join onto those logs that are going up by four and then obviously bringing these up by four and then doing slab this time just slab under slab under until it reaches the very top of the roof and then literally just fill that roof over the roof we've already done so on the inside you've kind of got like a dynamics of the roof going down from one area but the slab coming down from another area so you can kind of see it's part of the roof i just thought it was a really cool concept uh, so yeah here filling in exactly the same with what we've done at the front trap doors at the side with some um, windows and then i brought it down by two blocks going down into the ground just removed all that dirt underneath there decided at the side here it was too plain so yeah i just brought the brought the kind of roof forwards and then just made a little arch and i thought this archway would be perfect to walk down into the build so you can maybe put some stairs going down into the barn there and uh, some areas could be higher some areas could be lower like this i'm just um wrapping some kind of gates i'm using the fences all spruce at the moment and as you can see just filled in all the floor down there with some of the spruce stairways going up at that side dividing these bits i thought it'd be perfect for the horses so yeah same at the other side so we've got a stair coming down all symmetric it's going to be exactly the same on the other side and then i just got some of the stripped spruce logs just going all the way across and i thought that'd be a perfect place where we could just run the fences going over and outside here i thought i'd do a little bit different instead of a staircase going down just have like a little area that's just a little bit raised like raised by one maybe where the horses could, could go there or you could put some furnaces or some chests in that little area just different dimensions and different levels to the build really does make it look quite well so yeah i just tried that add some bushes in areas as well across the roof i wanted to add a little bit more detail so when people look up they don't just see like roof so they'll see logs going across so wherever you've got a log bring that across you can put fences over there as you can see here i'm just putting trap doors going all the way along with some lanterns and stuff decorate it however you like but hopefully you get loads of inspiration from how i decided to do it and yeah so started to fill with some lanterns around the area and as you can see trap doors across the top just circling around the gaps that we've already got you can do them in different ways whichever way works for you um, but yeah that's how i decided to do it then at the other side as i say just copy and paste it so everything that you've done on that side you just do on the other side and uh, yeah had a bit of problems with the world edit anyway but at the top i decided to put like little rooms like little rooms that we could go into so instead of it just being a plain roof just kind of like another tiny little building with two windows and another roof on same at the other side as well all symmetrical so i think it's nine blocks from the very front so counting nine blocks and then just bang yeah place a little kind of like a, it's kind of a home on top of a a farm so yeah uh, added some lanterns around the area to make it look nice decided maybe i could just put some chimneys coming through here so instead of this roof being plain we could have some chimneys coming out you can have the chimneys at the left at the right it doesn't really matter just so long as it kind of works for you now on the inside i will show you around the whole place after this but it's just going to be a quick one i'm going to do the outside actually so um so the outside just basically yeah just kind of trimming around and working with your landscape all using fences and it can kind of like it can be really messy it can kind of be a bit more organic kind of just working with what you've got and then i just put like a strip oak log some spruce slab on the top and just wiggled it round with the fence and it, it just worked and obviously we're going to do some more like exterior work like ponds we've got pathways running around well, as soon as you start mixing all that stuff in it really starts to bring the build together so as you can see i've just done some normal paths so you just get the 
uh, spade and just run around with that add some bushes flowers ponds um, you can add some stone bricks some carts here as well I'll show you the cart at the end the cart we've got workbenches on the outside as well just all kind of things that you would get in a farm like uh, you could even put a tractor there or something like that on the inside just filled it all with spruce and then this is completely random now it's just kind of like logs in different areas coming down as support beams you want some areas that are opened up so you can kind of see through the build and other areas that are walkways so you can kind of walk around the build and uh, yeah i've got stairways coming down in different directions the more random you are with builds like this and different wall divides the better it seems to be in my opinion now you, you can do it symmetrical but i kind of feel like it's a bit boring on the inside you want rooms that have kind of like they've got a bit more to them so as you can see i've got walkways at the very top just really short thin walkways you can see down either side obviously we've got that roof um so i turned that into a building as well and just downstairs i just decided to add like different stuff but as you can see so far i've just got a few lanterns on the floor obviously that's just a light up it's not actually going to be like that but yeah i just start adding more detail so like gate posts on uh, the top we've got barrels we've got hay bales we've got looms on the floor and it kind of looks like it's like um i don't know it's like grating a a across the floor like what you would have on farms you've got like crafting areas you've got brewing stands you've got like maybe some pistons you've got some water flowing through the farm as well you've got like meat areas where you've got hanging meat um you've got brewing areas you've just got everything that you would probably find in the farm i'll show you around the place so you get a better look and i'll go into a bit more detail um but yeah hopefully you're getting some inspiration from this and uh yeah i hope you like it make sure you slap a like on the video i decided to do a little kind of sheep area where you could wash your sheep as well mine carts around you've got boats around to add little decorations and little pieces bushes in areas so yeah i will take a look around now see what you think right so let me show you around this farm and hopefully you take something from it and as you can see as you come in i've just got like a nice little workbench here with just some barrels around the area and uh yeah i've got a path running around the, the whole of the build i'll show you in a minute i'll just show you the outside i've got a nice little um kind of like cart here which these are signposts so yeah just put those at the side with a log underneath and just some trap doors around and that slab there and yeah so a button there for the wheels and um, yeah some gates on it so yeah and uh, yeah I'll show you in there in a minute I've got a nice little pond here so I just put a pond and some lily pads around and just decorating it with just normal natural outside things and of course we've got a nice lantern we've got the ducks it's not a duck it's a chicken mate and then yeah just a path running all the way around obviously you can do it however you like a couple mine carts running in there as well i'll show you the whole inside in a minute and on the outside yeah we've just got another pond over here with like a little lantern by the the pond side you could probably put some fish in there as well have a nice fishing farm but yeah it's pretty epic i'll show you some of the detail here but yeah got a nice little balcony up here as well so let's go inside the build so as soon as you come in we've got a bell let everyone know we're here and uh, yeah i've got some pistons i've just played around with different ideas as you can see here um like got some lanterns on the top i've got some gate posts places for our chest and barrels around we've got mine carts running around we've got little bits of iron a uh, little meat factory there yeah so this is kind of like um where you would shear the sheep and it's got a nice little running bit of water so it clears out all i don't know what it actually does but you know got some chains and stuff around so it kind of just looks like it's kind of all working got some blast furnaces and some of these or whatever they're called the loom that's the loom on the floor there so with some trap doors around and stuff so you can do that to add detail and stuff uh, we've got obviously some more pens pen for the chickens we've got a nice little grindstone here i've divided the walls up with some chains and just like adding little decorations to kind of make it feel a bit busy um it can be messy as well i've got a pig area here so keep all my pigs even though some keep escaping we've got horses down here leads around to a minecart a few pigs <laughs> just 
chilling out in a in a boat there as you do and yeah i've just uh, made these little horse stables here so this is where i'd keep the horses on the outside and then just some pens on the inside for the other chickens and stuff this is kind of like a sheep wash so you take the the sheep or your animals in there and wash them off and kind of like uh, yeah it's got some detail on the roofs and stuff some anvils around maybe little seating areas grindstones just obviously hay and stuff to make it feel busy we've got some nice little walkways going up to the next level lanterns around and this is a cool little feature and um, some kind of meat hanging down so this is where you would uh put your meat in and cook it nice little workbench here as well with some chains hanging around well, obviously you can get loads of inspiration from this this is just some never warts going down on a chain and i put some um yeah redstone on the floor so it kind of looks like it's dripping um yeah enclose these in some things as well but yeah you kind of get the idea for the first level and um, so you can you can see how random it is and how uh, you can make it your own upstairs i haven't really done much decorations but it's more about how i divided the room up and stuff so you can take some inspiration from that so as you can see i've got like walkways going up in different areas around here it's kind of plain but you could obviously turn it into big storerooms or even more places for your animals and yeah we've got a little balcony out here and uh i've done some areas so you can actually see down so it doesn't feel as enclosed in your barn you kind of want like different levels coming down and of course walkways going across and different ways on how to get into your walkway so i've got a stairway coming up from this area to get onto the next level but i've also got it at this side as well so this is the only way up onto this side and then the next level we've got some more kind of rooms here and you can get up onto the next level but as you walk around here as you can see we can see down onto each balcony and it just gives the room a bit more of a filled room you can see out the windows here and stuff but you can see how you can kind of add to this and i've got another walkway coming down from here at the other side so you can get on these both sides and then to get up here you've got another walkway down here and you can actually go up this way or there is another way to get up there so you can get onto this bit or you can keep going up and it takes you onto this bit which is part of the roof so that takes you onto those little bits and yeah you've got some little side rooms here and stuff so just dividing the walls up in different places and um, but you can also come down this ladder go across here and there is another way that you could kind of get up you can get it down like there from a ladder there or you could maybe make a staircase coming down so you can lead from this way you can either go up there or if you're around this area anyway working on something you can come up and around here so different stairs in different locations and then you can get up to the top roof on this one like this so it's kind of like a different way to get up to it but you can see how you can make it kind of um, yeah make it your own but hopefully you got loads of inspiration from this um it took me quite a while to do so just slapping a like on the video really does help me out and um yeah uh, what i'm gonna do is for my patreons um i will put a world download um on my patreon even for the one dollar like um bracket so everyone can download this um, if you become a patreon and it really does help me out because i'm struggling at the moment so um yeah so i'll put that up and uh, yeah comment down below what you want to see next but i really hope you got some inspiration from this and hopefully um you're able to build it from it basically i tried to do the tutorials so people who don't like these massive long tutorials can still watch it but the people who like the block for block tutorials would still be able to build it and get some inspiration from it so yeah you've got a nice farm ponds around walkways carts everything literally the ultimate farm <laughs> it's literally so how to build a farm in minecraft the ultimate farm is filled with inspiration different ideas that you can try and experiment with but yeah we've got little uh, chimneys coming out here and yeah i just kind of like it little walkways down here so different walkways on how to feed your horses and stuff but obviously you can put far more detail into this i'm just kind of uh, yeah give you guys a base template to be able to make make your own and stuff and as you can see we've got some minecarts going all the way around this place so you can take minecarts around it uh, but yeah 
it's definitely one of the biggest bands I've ever done. I could probably do more advanced than this, but I kind of wanted to keep it so maybe with a lot of time and effort, you could probably still do it in survival. But anyway, guys, I'm almost addicted. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button because if you don't, there's no point doing it because, yeah, you won't get notifications for my videos anymore because that's how YouTube works now. So when you subscribe, hit the bell. Slap a like on the video and leave a comment. It all really, really does help me. And even if you can't become a Patreon, that's completely fine. Just by liking and watching my videos really does help me out as well. And uh, yeah, I am struggling, but I will keep at it, guys. And I will keep giving you new content like this. So if you do want new content like this, you know what to do. So I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.